we're not looking at record breaking temperatures, but it's the humidity levels that has people really utilizing their AC. And of course that we know again, the energy right now in demand. And as far as the heat, yes, it's been peaking over the past couple of days, but we do have some relief on the way and I'll explain that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and start things off this Tuesday evening from some of our live cameras across town. Quick look at Coronado Hotel Dow. Lovely shot there and you can see the beaches not only in Coronado, but across San Diego are just crowded with people. A lot of people heading there to uh, beat the heat. I assume Ramona clear skies right now and current temperatures right now are trending toasty. We are close to 100 degrees. Not quite there, but we are pretty warm at 94. Meanwhile, uh, the winds pretty light out of the west of about seven miles per hour. So as far as the coastal areas, most of us are already out of the 80s. We're trending pretty warm in Oceanside still in the upper 70s, but a lot of areas much cooler. Del Mar right now in the low 70s, 90s, as I mentioned in Ramona as well as Escondido, mid to upper 80s in Poway, low 90s in Warner Springs, and we're still dealing with that triple digit heat in the desert areas. Not a ton of fluctuation as far as the 24 hour temperature change goes. We are trending a few degrees warmer, but again, it's those high humidity levels that really makes it feel just a lot warmer than it actually is. Satellite and radar composite, tons of lightning activity around our surrounding counties, but as we zoom on into uh, our area and our mountains and deserts, it looks like things are pretty quiet. We had a few cells moving through the Julian area just east of that community, but it looks like again things are pretty quiet for the most part. No watches or warnings to let you know about as a last check. As long as high pressure continues to sit comfortable and tight over our four corners, it will continue to usher in that monsoonal flow and bring us a chance for lightning and thunder storm activity throughout the week. So we'll stick with this chance at least through Thursday and then activity will really peak looking ahead to the weekend beginning Friday and Saturday when we'll have another greater monsoonal uh, surge arrive. Coastal areas for your school day forecasts. Those kiddos, most of them are officially back in school as of this week. Uh, it looks like drop off time is going to be already warm in the 70s. Again, if you have anything to do that you need to get done outside, I would recommend trying to get it done before the 7 a.m. hour when it's pretty decent in the 60s because we are going to warm up pretty quick looking ahead to tomorrow. So as I mentioned, the heat will peak tomorrow along the coastal communities will be in the mid to upper 70s and then we'll drop a few degrees slowly as we get into the weekend. Inland valleys tomorrow will be the warmest day, which is why, of course, we have that flex alert in effect. Uh, 91 degrees is what we're forecasting for the highs in Escondido. And then by the weekend, we'll drop about five degrees or so. Again, even though we'll drop a few degrees as far as daytime highs go, it may not feel like much relief because of those humidity levels. We'll stick around. No pun intended, by the way. <laughs> Mid to upper 80s tomorrow through Thursday and then low 80s by this weekend. Desert areas trending at about 110. We drop a few degrees looking ahead to the weekend, but those humidity levels will stay in place. A major recall. By